What's going on movie lovers? I'm your host Joss and welcome back to top 10 beyond the screen. Are you following us on our new social media pages? No? Well you should be. If you're not, they are linked down below so make sure you guys give us a follow. Also hang out with me until the end of this video so that you don't miss on the comment shoutouts. Today another list continues with a part 2. We've been talking a lot about actors, movies and some innocent Hollywood gossip. When actors begin to fall out of the spotlight, we all know about it pretty much right away because because of headlines and social media. Some actors stay on the big screen their entire careers, but some seem to fall off the wagon and just can't get back on. Today we are doing part two of the list, top 10 famous actors that can't get good movie roles anymore. Let's get started. Off our list at number 10 is Macaulay Culkin. The child star became a household name courtesy of Home Alone and then its sequel. His career started off strong, but his household name didn't stand strong for long. He continued to book roles after that, but none of them really put him on the map the way his childhood did. In 2005, he had drug charges against him, which he pleaded guilty to. He pleaded guilty to the possession of marijuana and medication without a prescription. He was given a one year deferred jail sentence and was ordered to pay his fees. The actor was only 20 24 at the time. This was just a few weeks after he appeared in court to defend the case that was going on against Michael Jackson, who had sexual assault charges against him at the time. Culkin faced a lot of heat for defending the man who was being accused of child molesting, but he stood firm on his beliefs. Now, in 2019, at 38 years old, he still faces the heat defending the documentary that recently came out about the Michael Jackson allegations. Culkin has no problem admitting that he spent a lot of time alone with Jackson, but nothing Nothing inappropriate ever took place. He claims that they were just best friends. The two remained close over the years and Culkin is actually the godfather to his daughter Paris Jackson. He has stayed out of Hollywood movies for some time now and has turned to live comedy acts where he has no problem joking about the Michael Jackson scandal. You can only imagine that some people don't take his jokes too well. At number 9 is Dane Cook. He first began his career as a comedian but then later brought his skills into the movie world. He made his first on screen appearance in the movie Employee of the month where he starred with Jessica Simpson. Unfortunately, his first major role was a flop and the movie received only a 20% on Rotten Tomatoes. He tried to make a comeback when he took on a major role in Good Luck Chuck. The movie was given horrible reviews and received just a 5% on Rotten Tomatoes. Not only were his movies a flop, but his comedy took a hit after he made an inappropriate joke back in 2012 about a mass shooting. He made a joke referencing the shooting that happened in Colorado during the screening of The Dark Knight Rises. The actor apologized later for his joke, but some people weren't so forgiving. More recently, he's been caught up in another controversy by people judging him for dating a girl who is only 19 years old. They began dating when she was just 18 years old and he was 45 at the time. The two of them have continued dating for over a year now. People have had no problem voicing their opinion on the 26 year age gap. Dane is staying away from acting, but is making a comeback in comedy by doing a comedy tour this year. He admits that he will be sticking to comedy and that acting is in his past. Taking over spot number 8 is Misha Barton. The actress became an international star for her role as Marissa Cooper on the hit TV series The OC. Her career took a hit when she quit the show the year before it ended its 4 season run. Her acting career has stalled for the past 11 years as she tried to make a comeback but only made headlines and for all the wrong reasons. In 2007 she was arrested for a DUI and was given 36 months probation, alcohol education classes and had to pay a fine as part of the plea deal. Later in 2009 the former star was then hospitalized in a psych ward and E! News said it was for suicidal actions. After that, she continued to try and book smaller roles like her guest appearance on Law & Order and Noel Gallagher's music video for his song Everybody's on the Run. People were happy to see her on Dancing with the Stars in 2016, but she was the second celebrity contestant to be eliminated so we didn't see her for very long. 2017 was a tough one for her, she was once again hospitalized and then had a lawsuit case against her ex-boyfriend, who filmed an explicit video of her without her consent and was selling them online. She ended up removing herself from the spotlight and rightfully so, and now she says she's in a better place. We will see her making an appearance in the upcoming reality show The Hills, but as far as her acting days, she said that she just started reading scripts again, though maybe she will have another shot at it. Sliding into number 7 is John Cusack. The actor began starring in films during the 1980s and has starred in a number of movies ever since, like Say Anything, The Raven, and Love 
and Mercy. However, he made a total of 17 movies between the years 2012 to 2016, and a big chunk of them just went straight to DVD. Most of them you probably haven't even heard of, unless you're digging through that $5 Walmart bin still, which is fine, judgment free zone. He did have some higher quality movies though, like his 2015 movie Love and Mercy. It got some Oscar buzz for his co star Elizabeth Banks. The actor is now in his 50s, and I'm not saying he's too old to act by any means, but if it were 15 years ago, he would still be able to audition for the rom coms he used to do. Things are just different for the actor now. The industry is constantly changing. It hasn't stopped him from keeping busy with a number of passion projects, writing a book, and even co funding a foundation called Freedom of the Press. At number six is Shanae Grimes. She used to be an it girl in the running, starring on two major TV shows Degrassi, The Next Generation, and then 90210. The Canadian actress was on her way, but her career went in a different direction than most people expected. She ended up becoming a co anchor and correspondent for Pop Sugar back in 2015. She reported everything like fashion, movies, television, and celebrity news. She called the opportunity, and I quote, an incredible start to a new chapter in my career. From there, she also appeared on as a guest on both Fashion Police and Fashion News Live. Over the years, she's continued to book smaller acting gigs, but she turned her focus more onto fashion. She began her own clothing and jewelry line with her husband called Two Half. Fans were excited when she announced in 2018 that she was working on a crime drama TV series called The Detail. However, she later announced on a YouTube video that the show was actually cancelled. She now spends most of her time vlogging on her YouTube channel and working on her business. Halfway through our list at number 5 is Sarah Michelle Gellar. The actress will always be known for Buffy the Vampire Slayer because of its massive success, but she did continue her acting career after that. She began doing horror films which transitioned her from the TV series to the big screen. How can we forget when she was haunted in Tokyo by the terrifying grudge? Some of her movies were ripped to shreds though by critics and even some of her non-horror movies were considered to be flops. Like her sci-fi romantic comedy, Simply Irresistible. It only received a 13% on Rotten Tomatoes and it only took home $4 million at the box office. She attempted to go back to TV, but her TV show Ringer was cancelled and her show The Crazy Ones, with Robin Williams at the time, was cancelled after just one season. She did find success as a voice actor though. She is now focused on her business that she launched called Foodsters. It's a cooking and lifestyle brand that she runs with her husband, Freddie Prince Jr. She is now a proud mother of two and still books acting projects just whenever she can. Alright guys, at number 4 is Tobey Maguire, or Peter Parker as we know him. He was at the height of his career during his 2007 Spider-Man adventure, but the series reboot also meant the end of his career in some ways. After the Spider-Man success, he continued to act in other movies, but they just didn't do well. In 2011, he starred in the romantic comedy The Details, which received mixed reviews about his performance. He popped up on television when he took on one of the leads in Gatsby, but ever since then, it doesn't seem like he's had many leading opportunities. In 2014, he starred in Pawn Sacrifice, which had positive reviews, but was a box office flop. The film cost $19 million to make and only made $5.6 million back. It seemed that he kind of went MIA in 2014, and we've only seen him in 2017 when he did voiceover work in The Boss Baby. I'm not sure what the exact reasoning is. Did he just give up on acting? Did casting directors give up on him? Who knows? He doesn't have any credits to his name since 2017, so only one can wonder what exactly he's been up to. In at number three is Billy Zane. He played the villain in what was once the biggest movie of all time, Titanic. Yes, he was the snooty British guy who taunts Kate Winslet just as the big ship is about to sink. After having the wildly successful movie on his resume, you would expect it to just keep building from there. And it did, but only in movies you've probably never heard of. The actor also did some TV work back in 2016 when he took on the role of Stan in the TV series called Guilt. His TV time didn't last long though because the show got cancelled after just one season. If you watch the show Curfew, which is currently running, you can see him playing Joker Jones. Some people haven't even heard of the show, but those who have seem to enjoy seeing Billy after all of these years. As for booking movie roles, he continues to take on all the projects that he can. Here we are at number 2 with Lori Loughlin. The actress is best known for her role as Aunt Becky from the hit sitcom Full House. From there, her career continued to be a huge success as she booked roles on the TV series Summerland and 90210. More recently, you would have seen her in the Netflix reboot Fuller House and the TV series called When Calls the Heart. She has also had a number of TV movies on her resume, but just this year in early 2019, her career took a massive hit when she got involved in an FBI sting that people say destroyed her future. She was one of many people who were charged for being involved in a massive scam involving wealthy people who paid huge sums to 
a man named William Singer. He would get their kids into top schools such as Yale, Stanford, and USC by forging SAT scores and exam results. Government officials reported that the actress and her husband spent $500,000 on the services to get their daughters into USC. FBI agents attempted to arrest the actress at her California home on March 12, 2019, but she was filming in Vancouver. They ended up arresting her husband instead, and then she turned herself in the following day. After the scandal, it was reported that she was fired from Fuller House and Hallmark's parent company called Crown Media. Here's hoping that Hollywood can be forgiving and that she can return to the screen soon. Taking our number one spot is Taylor Lautner. Yes, the Hollywood heartthrob is taking our number one spot. Before all you Twilight fans get all defensive, ask yourself when you last saw him in a big Hollywood movie. It has been years. We all know him to play the successful role of Jacob in the Twilight series, but that all came to an end, and that is when he had to create a career outside of that role. In 2011, he had the lead role in an action thriller movie called Abduction, which should have set his acting career in motion. The movie received mixed critics and didn't do as well as they thought it would at the box office. He was cast for the smaller roles after that, like 10 episodes as Dr. Cassidy Cassade on the TV series Scream Queens in 2016. There isn't much on his resume after that, so if he plans on making it back on the big screen, I think it's going to take some hard work. What do you guys think? Do you think he will make a comeback? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. For now, let's check out some comments from my last video. Darwin Aang says, Mara Wilson writes adult novels? How adult? <laughs> Okay, maybe I shouldn't have said adult novels. She wrote a book that was more age appropriate for children, but she also writes one for adults, but like appropriate content. Crystal Secret says, ever thought of doing a video of animal actors such as Happy the Dog from Seventh Heaven? I've always been curious where they found the animals and what happened when the show was canceled slash movie was over. I actually love this idea. Any excuse for me to talk about animals and I am all for it. Brittany Butch says, okay, I'm from Kentucky, which is where Louisville is in. It's pronounced Louisville, not Louisville. Honestly, I am just so over this word. I've had so many people telling me it's said like five different ways. Who cares? Clay Tallman says, when are you going to appear on top tier? I actually already did and I will be appearing again soon, so stay tuned. If you haven't checked out the new channel, make sure you guys do and subscribe to it. We will link it down below for you. That is all I have for today. I'm gonna get out of here. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and stay on this screen to continue watching more Beyond the Screen videos. I'm your host, Joss, and I will see you next time.